with all the oil on my chin. That's how you know it's good when you get it on your body. <laughs> What's up, food chefs? We are back with another video. So today we are getting back to some pasta. We are getting back to some pasta. All right, so today we are keeping it relatively simple. We're just gonna do a really quick shrimp scampi. It is going to be paleo shrimp scampi. Let's get into the video. It's a really simple recipe. You're gonna need about one pound of shrimp, um, unless you guys are like some really big shrimp eaters. But let me show you. This is a pound of shrimp. If you're gonna eat more than this, then God bless you. Okay. You are going to need some white wine. Cause, uh, All right, so let's get our shrimp together. Shrimp, they're already cleaned on the top and the bottom because we don't eat no doo-doo shrimp around here. So we're gonna get these babies seasoned up and ready. Use about a tablespoon of avocado oil. And we're just using that to make sure that the seasonings stick, baby. Next, we're gonna get two cloves of garlic and we are going to use our microplane. I like using the microplane. If you don't have this, definitely you can just chop it up. We're also gonna take a lemon. Get some of that lemon zest. Probably about the zest of half a lemon will do. Don't worry. We will use all of this lemon juice. We're not gonna leave the lemon naked. All set. As always, a quarter teaspoon of hot sauce. Your favorite will do. We like it to have a little bit of cake and just honestly, hot sauce is so good with shrimp when you grill it up in a cast. First of our dry seasoning should be salt. We're just gonna bring out the juices. Bring out the flavor. We have three quarter cups. Ooh, no, not cups. Three quarter teaspoon. Three quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Half a teaspoon fine ground black pepper. One teaspoon garlic powder. Half a teaspoon crushed red pepper. Oh yeah. Half a teaspoon basil. Half a teaspoon paprika. One tablespoon of parsley. All right, let's toss this baby. We're going to set this aside. Chickpea pasta. So these are the vegetables that we are going to use. Typical shrimp scampi doesn't really have any mushrooms or scallions or anything like that. So you're gonna need five cloves of garlic, a couple of mushrooms, it just depends how much you like. I just have about, I just have five mushrooms here. Two, three, four, five, and a bunch of scallops. So when I cut mushrooms for this dish, I'm going to cut right down the stem. And then this is how I learned how to cut mushrooms at a pizza restaurant going to cut the sides off and then down the stem again okay so then it creates cute little pieces like this <laughs> you can also use a food processor for this I just like knives 
right, little babies, it's time for our sauce. So first things first, we are going to saute our mushrooms. Right in here, about half a teaspoon of salt on top of them. that your mushrooms are bad. And we are not going to clean this pan before we start our sauce. We need all of that up in there. I'm going to start with three quarter cups of olive oil. Half a cup of vegan butter. The most important thing, never burn your garlic. Five cloves of garlic. We're also going to add our for that little bit of green right here. Half a cup of lemon juice. You know that lemon that we got a little naked earlier by Zestin? That's her. One teaspoon parsley. Half a teaspoon black pepper. Half a teaspoon red pepper flakes. One teaspoon of salt. And most importantly, thou shalt not forget thy white wine. Half a cup. All right, so now we won't put the shrimp back in. The one with the mushroom. Chickpea spaghetti. All of it goes right in the same pot so it can gather all of that delicious flavor. Now we put it on a plate. All right, see you, chef. We're back for quarantine and wonder And we have our chef scampi. We also have this amazing salad that my honey made for us yesterday. It's just cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. It's so good. So, we're not gonna waste any time. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching the video so far. Hopefully you stay tuned just to chat with us and have a nice meal before you carry on with the rest of your evening. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, but most of all, subscribe. If you're not already part of the sous chef family, you're doing something wrong, right? That's right. Yeah. Subscribe. Okay. Um, we are man hungry though. So there's two things we always do before we get ready to eat on this channel. First, we give glory to God. Because we still here, breathing, cooking, eating. Corona free. Corona free. And next we sing our sous chef theme song. And this is where we drop the beat. Kick off your shoes, it's a sous chef beat. Gather around, cause it's time to eat. We cooked it, we cooked it. We did that. Kick off your shoes, it's a sous chef beat. Gather around, cause it's time to eat. We cooked it, we cooked it. We did that. Let's eat, sous chefs. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Y'all been talking about shrimp scampi for like the last two weeks. Yeah. And hubby every, been every time, bothering me every about time it. Every time you've been shit. saying, oh, I'm going to make it. I oh, I'm going to make it. She like, I didn't. But I did it. Tortures. I did it. But we Y'all, let's see if we can get you a really beautiful bite. 
The only thing with this recipe, you do have to take the tails off of this. Oh, wait. I gotta pour my scampi sauce on. Thank you, baby. Look it up. This is our sauce. There's obviously some in here already because if you watch the recipe, you know you gotta stir it in. But I just wanted to. Now it's time to eat. All right, you need a spoon and go. Oh, yeah. My good Italians always use a spoon. Let's see if I can get you guys a really delicious looking bite. In this recipe, you do have mushrooms. Hundred percent paleo. Hey, like I said, I didn't make the video, the, the pasta online for y'all, on the video for y'all, but hopefully you know how to cook pasta. But I found some really good chickpea pasta. It's vegan, gluten free, and paleo. So and this is what. I wasn't gonna wait for you to finish talking to you because I was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. nah. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lie to you, this is the first time I've ever made shrimp scampi, but um, if it came out to me, I'd just say. It's no olive garden. You don't do that here. And it's so easy, y'all. Like, this is definitely one of those three minutes that you can put together. Obviously, it took me one to because I had to film it and all that kind of stuff. But this is a 30-minute meal each day, night. I mean, you got more time right now since you're at home, but I know with all the kids and stuff, you want some personal time if you have kids. So you get your, your dinner ready real quick. Send them off to watch TV or play video games or whatever y'all do with your children. We ain't got kids yet, so. They just busy getting on their parents' nerves. Right? Mm -hmm. Make a quick meal and send them on their way. Mm. It's so good. I can't believe they're chicken. Chickpea. something that's a little bit different from a lot of um, scampi recipe videos that I've seen. I don't see really body, anybody putting anything, any extra vegetables in it. They kind of just cook the shrimp. And I get it. That's probably what it's meant to be, like really simple shrimp and noodles, <laughs> you know, in a wine, a lemon wine sauce. But man, mushrooms, I feel like just elevate every meal. Maybe it's just me. I put mushrooms in my eggs this morning, and I've just been in a whole mood. A whole mood, a whole mood, baby. You enjoying it, baby? Oh, yeah. No. Y'all see, I ain't saying much, so you know why. Y'all see, like, all the food that's gone off of his side of his plate, don't you, babe? <laughs> I'm talking to the people. So, for all y'all out there, hopefully you make this recipe. And y'all know what I like. If you make the recipe, just let me know. Hit me up and tell me how you like it. Or if there's anything that you changed about it. So it's just, it just helps, you know? And it's nice to kind of do a collective recipe type of thing. Anybody ask me to cook it for me? 
I don't want to be I'm not going to promise anybody. I want you to fly me out. I want you to fly me out. I'm talking about flights. I ain't talking about train rides or bus rides or car rides. Even if you live in Baltimore, I want to get on a plane from D.C. to Baltimore. I don't even know if they have that, but that's what I want. So even Baltimore, you just, you might be out of luck. You might be out of luck. Then I go to Philly. Mm. I mean, you technically mm -hmm. could fly to Philly, right? Mm -hmm. What's that, like 30, 30 minutes in there? Minutes, probably. Maybe. Maybe. 25. So what else have you guys been out there cooking? I'm very curious. I've been, like I said, trying to keep it kind of simple for these videos. I'm posting a little bit more often. The next video I'm very excited about. I've been planning it for like two weeks. Can't wait. I wish I could have my dad in it because he's a real master of it. But um, we're going to make it do what it do, baby. All that oil on my chin. That's how you know it's good when you get in on your body. <laughs> Makes me want to shout. Lift my hands up and shout. Throw my hands up and shout. Mm. You might become a church runner after you. There he is. Mm. That's what we make it. I'll go back in. Anyway. We are going to finish eating our food. So hopefully you enjoyed the recipe portion of the video. Hopefully you got to have some dinner with us as well. For now, like I always say, thank you so, so, so much for tuning in and watching how to make my version of Snip Scampi. And also for hanging out a little while with me and Bae. While we just kind of eat and chat. I keep in these videos because I like to see it. And don't know how to order Uber Eats. <laughs> okay. Um, but again, thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to finish probably the rest of this food because it's not good. Um, but, you know, I already been having scampi sauce on my chin, so I'm going to stop embarrassing myself in that way. But before you go, make sure that you like, share, comment, but most of all, subscribe. That way you always, always know when Susha is dropping another video, okay? And like we always say when we round out our videos today, I showed you how to make it, and now you can go and make it yourself. Bye.